Oh, there's other people here. We can do that after we go through this. Militia. Is this the way we came? Thomas. Come on, not Thomas. I can't believe how relieved I was to be your helpers. Why did we do that? Interesting. Windmill. You called. Oh, I thought new. As you wish. Let's see. This should be easy enough. The Ecker. Oh, that's not good. I just bought us the 60, didn't it? Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. I must admit I am unfamiliar with addressing a dwarf of your station. I do not wish to be rude. Oh. Come mm, in, Natty, if you would. As you wish, and thank you kindly. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes, Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle, or perhaps I would be dead. Ah oh, well, with a Grey Warden aiding our defense, perhaps all is not lost. Have you considered using the oil in the village store? No one told me of this. Oil, you say? How much exactly? Enough to say some masters are flying. Assuming that would hurt them. Yes, I see what you have in mind. That might be effective, if used carefully. Yes, excellent idea. I'll send some men to collect the oil. We'll use it to slow these creatures down. Have you anything else to ask me in the meantime? Is there anything I can do to help? We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. Is there anything else you need? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. I have some questions? Ask me whatever you wish. Tell me about what's happened here. You know about as much as I do. Mm -hmm. I returned a day before the attacks began, having heard strange rumors about the abandoned castle. I was the only knight to survive the first attack. Since then, I found others returning from the Arlesa's quest. Until we get to the source of this evil, though. I do not think it will stop, and I don't believe we will be enough. You mentioned something about an urn. When the Isle fell sick, we were at a loss. Nothing worked to cure him, and he just kept getting worse. Finally, our lesser Isold came up with a plan. The urn of sacred ashes is a legendary artifact said to hold great healing powers. If found, it might save him. They say the followers of Andraste smuggled her ashes out of Tevinter and hid them in Ferelden. The urn's never been heard of since. We knights volunteer to seek it out. Few of us have returned. Many are still out there, unaware of what is happening here. What is he sick with? We were never certain. He thirsted for water and then grew weaker and weaker. He brought in a mage, but even that did nothing. The Alessa believed he was cursed and that we needed the power of Andraste herself or he would surely perish. Why did our lesser belief in it? Anyone could find the urn. The Al once employed a scholar, Brother Genetivi. Ooh, the one with the note. He had proof the urn was in Ferelden, or so I was told. So now I can find the other knights? Eventually, perhaps. The ones I have here were those near enough to recall within the last few days. I only returned myself because I was passing by Redcliffe and heard the news of strange attacks. Good night. So the knights left the castle defense? Not at all. A great number of soldiers remained in Castle Redcliffe. I wonder if they perished there or were transformed into these things. The thought chills my blood. 
As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. Embarrassing personal communication between the spoiled with wealthy and their objects of obsession. You are filthy, a beast, such depravity. I have never been forced to suffer. How words are such are so loud, and when they leave your lips, is beyond decent imagining. Madam, I love you, sir. Oh, sure. On it. Pantry. Andraste's right. grace. Oh. Interesting. Landmark tree. Distinctive landmark, but otherwise unremarkable at this time. So that's this. means that later there's a reason for it. needs holy protection for the night. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. Can't you just bless them? I can pray with them and give them my blessing. But Sir Perth wants me to call upon the Maker to shield them oh. from evil. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Seriously? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. <sighs> but if they think it helps them... I suppose their belief in the Maker's power could inspire them, but it just seems like trickery. Very well. If it keeps them alive, I will do what I must. I have a number of silver cast holy symbols. Tell Sir Perth that he can have them, and that wearing them will confer the Maker's protection. Now please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same. That's fine. We care, but not really. Let them have their beliefs. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. You say you want to hold... What's your status? 
We retrieved more oil from the village store. It is ready to use as our first line Thank of defense, you. as you suggested. Overall, my fellow knights are nervous about the coming battle. Death is almost certain, but we will fight and die valiantly if that's what the Maker demands. You say you want your protection. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? I don't wanna. She has some holy amulets. What do you do? If they are the same as the symbols worn by their priests, well, that would more than suffice. But it's not even magical. I do not approve of majory and such, but the symbols of the chantry are holy and blessed by the Maker, not the work of mages. I will send some men to collect the amulets. Please give my regards to Mother Hannah for seeing some sense at last. Is there anything else you need? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. Yeah, questions? Ask me whatever you wish. Tell me about the quest for the sacred urn. When the Isle fell sick, we were at the loss. Nothing worked to cure him, and he just kept getting worse. Finally, our lesser Isold came up with a plan. The urn of sacred ashes is a legendary artifact set to hold great healing powers. If found, it might save him. They say the followers of Andraste smuggled her ashes out of Tevinta and hid them in Ferelden. The urn's never been heard of since. We knights volunteer to seek it out. Few of us have returned. Many are still out there, unaware of what is happening here. As you wish. I'm ready to make my stand. Does it matter when we make our stand? There is still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned. Let's do this real Good. quick. So do whatever you must and return before it is time. I will be here. Hey. Question is, can we go to the camp from here? I did not realize Morgan is a level ahead of us. I guess not. Mother Hannah's amulets have greatly bolstered my men's confidence. You couldn't have armed us with any better than our faith in the Maker. Sure. I'm ready to make my stand. There is still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned... No, I'm ready now. Let's Good wait. luck to you then, and may the Maker watch over us all. Battle of Riverdale, no game at tier. traps
That makes no sense. fire now. I hate it. I freaking hate it.
So it doesn't matter
Dawn arrives, and we survive the night. We are victorious. And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these good folk beside me. I thank you, dear lady. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. Ooh, thank you. We have a plan. There's still so much more to do, Van Tegan. Surely these people deserve some small celebration, don't you think? There is time yet. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Murdoch of Redcliffe, mayor and beloved father, we salute you. You and so many others who have perished here, walk with he who is your maker. Long may you know the peace of his love. May their ancestors give them welcome. With the Maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. The mill. Oh, yay. In the Warden. meantime, oh crap! Why does it matter? Level up. Let's do constitution. Obviously, he this stuff goes down a lot. Strength. What's your specialization? Good sure. I don't think you need magic for anything. How effective? How effective potion? Wow, well, I mean, it's a class. Honey, I want larger reasons, most skills such as. Wow. I think the post is post. Hmm. No. Let's do. No, let's do magic actually. Let's keep it. What? Does he not get a specialization? Alright, here's he a Bonus to damage, physical and mental. Bonus to crit. Ooh. Or cutting blows. Oh, I think that's it. Two-handed strength. Shattering blows. Golems and other constructs. 